Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. I'm not actually going to publish my last episode because it was just a waste of time. Didn't have any success in any area I was dealing with. But I did do one or two things. Now behind me you can just three, three minnow shroom uh, trophies. Because I went and finished those guys off. It didn't take too long. It was much quicker than I was expecting it to, do, to be. And then I went to a attack the hydra and it was regenerating itself all the time now i can't find any information about the, <laughs> the regen and the hydra it was just supposed to be a headed monster when you basically you bash it in the mouth when it's shooting at you but that doesn't work it's got no heads we'll see that in a minute so what i'm going to do today i also couldn't get the ender flame to work i made an ender flame dead easy just a couple of petals in the petal apothecary and a seed and it makes ender flames so uh, in, yeah, and then you put the ender flame down and you put it near a mana spreader and it should set the mana. It wasn't generating, it wasn't consuming the, the thing. Very strange. I don't get it. Anyway, let's have a look at those two things. You'll see the heads are up there. I put a hopper on an open crate and that's dropping them down, the items down into that. And that's then spreading it into here. And it didn't work. Don't ask me what I was doing wrong. I still don't understand that. So we can put a couple of blaze rods in there they fall down there like that and they should get consumed like that one of them should be consumed and it should be pushing mana into here like this in fact we should be able to see mana in here right click it and it says there's a little bit of mana in there you can see tiny weeny bit at the bottom there not very much at all so that's going to take a while and i'm quite happy to let those things sit there hovering around so let's have another go at what I wanted to do. I wanted to kill the um, the Hydra and it was regenerating too fast and that it didn't matter what I was doing it just wasn't working. So let's have a look. There is something I have sort of had a, look, a read about. No idea whether this is going to work or not but I've got a Paramancer staff which shoots blaze and gas fireballs creating f fire bursts and light flares. Now What's it? Charges zero, blazes that one. Shift left click to change mode, shift right click to double, auto absorb. Okay. So this is. I wonder if we got to create. I presume it ch charges. I'm not sure. Let's see if we can make one of these things. So, really, blaze rod, no problem. Salamander's eye. Okay, that's a blaze and eye vendor. Molten core, nebulous core, and a frozen core. We should have everything we need for doing that. Let's have a go. Um, blaze. Where are those cores gone to? I just saw them a minute ago. Ah, there. I don't have very many of these, but I've got, and I don't want to use two. Let's just put them back again. Take it with something else. One of those, one of those, and one of those. Plus, uh, an ender pearl and a blaze powder. Now we should be, oops, we should be able to craft a salamander's eye, I think. And sure enough, that one's done. Blaze powder is no problem. Cl an infernal claw, what's that one? Three claws and a slime pearl. Three cores are leather, slime pearl, and rib. So we need, well, let's go and get a few of those and some leather as well. Now, ribs. We've got 26 of these. I might even have another one actually. Haha, <laughs> I do. Uh, <clears throat> this is a crusher. I put the crusher down here because I was getting attacked by mobs. <laughs> so I just stood in the way and let it mob crush and let it sort them out, which was fine. So, this one, we need to do this one. And I'm missing leather, so I need some leather. Where is my leather? I'm sure I've got lots of it. Um, I really should invest in doing a... What's it? 
that's an ender stuff. That'll shoot ender pearls, I guess. Uh, leather, leather. Where's my leather gone to? I've got ordinary. I've got not. I must have leather here somewhere. I'll tell you what. But I'm having difficulty seeing it, of course. Oh, there we go. Look. So, try again. The reason I want to do this one, I want three of these, is because it might be good, effective against it, uh, against the Hydra. I'm not 100% sure. So we need to do this one. So we have the second component that we need. Salamander eye and that one, and then we need to make a Infernal tier, so oh, we need another one of these, okay. And an infernal tier, we need a witch's hat. Now, interesting enough, I don't have any shortage of witch's hats. <laughs> what am I missing? Oh, this, okay. Lapis and the nebulous heart that's no big deal. I might have missed something out there, but. Try again. Yes, I did have a gas tear. That was just luck from previously, I think. So now we need to make. Oops, wrong one. It's quite a crafting process, isn't it? So I think that's everything we now need. We can then make a pyromancer staff. And it shoots. So if I shift right click this one now, it should have taken some blaze rods, it has done. So, and light fires. So what we also need to do, let's put away the stuff that we don't need. Everything goes back into that, that's good. We maybe need to make some fire charges. This thing. Coal, gunpowder, and blaze powder. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let's just do. That's two stacks. Just want one stack. Coals, blaze powder, and gunpowder. I've probably got quite a bit of gunpowder about It's just knowing where it is, of course. There we go. And actually, not so much. 37. We probably can make gunpowder anyway. Ah, uh, we can. Pulverized charcoal, sulfur dust, and nitra. We've probably got lots of that around, actually. But anyway, for the time being, I won't do it that way. We can even do it in here with less. <laughs> well, we need a little starlight. Centrifuge separator. I'm going to have honey. And we could. Oh, sieving for it. Diamond sieve. And dust. I must have got a lot of that. Actually, I must have got a lot of it. It must be in the in the base. So anyway, let's just mix some of these things. Ah, I must have double clicked the blaze powder back out again, huh? Try again. <laughs> that is strange. Where's it gone to? Oh, of course, it's being absorbed by the. Yeah. <laughs> right, it's being absorbed by this stuff. I didn't. I thought it's finished doing it, so let's get that one done. There's no big deal. We can get plenty of those things anyway. So let's make this one. I've actually got some more fire charges around somewhere. So 27. So let's turn this on again. And that should absorb those and the fire charges. It has done fantastic. Okay. Now, I don't know whether this is going to work or not. We'll find out. Let's put everything else I've got back. And I don't really want it to be doing that. I need the map. The magic map. Okay, because I've left it behind a couple of times. Um, let's go to the Twilight Forest. And it's over in this direction. 
And I think I do need to to kill the Hydra, but I, you know, I just don't know how to do it. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. But last time I was there, I managed to get 20 hearts for some reason or other. I presume this is still acid rain over here. Let's just have a quick check. Because I think I've got to kill the Hydra before I get the acid, get rid of the acid rain. Yeah, look. <laughs> so we'll just go around. In fact, let's go a bit faster. Now it should be yes, it goes red, and then we can should be able to see it. There it is in this in this dome. Here is the hydra, and you see this hydra doesn't look like a normal hydra. It should have heads, and it's got magic. And I don't ask me where it's coming from. There must be something around here that's giving him regen. Though I wonder what it is. Let's get my pick out. Yeah. Because he can't do much damage. Now normally they can do a lot of damage to these guys, but oops, try try this one. I'm just wondering whether this ore is actually causing mobs to spawn. There was more, where's the other stuff? There we are. Fifty odd hearts of health, ridiculous, isn't it? Alright, good him. Now, strength one. What I can also do, uh, I've put it all back. Never mind. Because it didn't help anyway. If you come along here and hit him, it's almost doing no damage whatsoever. And this is 40 odd he hearts. So what I was thinking about doing was to try this thing here. Well, nice effective weapon, so we can try out something else, but I don't know what to do. Anybody got any ideas? <laughs> Let's go back to that. I can't even get near him, is it? We'll try both at the same time. doing any damage almost no damage it does go down after a while but it takes such a long time and it's every time you get halfway back it comes back again so I reckon it's got something to do with these bubbles oh and I've got a nice freezer and he regens. And I haven't got him down more than about... I see, he just regens now. Maybe I'm not using a powerful enough weapon. See? Wasting time. Not getting anywhere with him at all. I'm just wondering if there's something else that's special I have to do here. Because I just don't know. Once we deleted this, what's that say? Can't read it. Grass block. Is that grass block? Does it say? No. Oh. Yeah, just grass blocks. Okay. Well, I can kill those by because of my aura, <laughs> my evil aura. So it can't be the gra grass blocks he's getting regen from. I can't get him out of here, so that's another thing. So I'm stuck. I don't know how to get rid of the Hydra. Maybe somebody can give me a hint. <laughs> Maybe it's just a th one of those things. There's just nothing here. That's obvious. So we look at the map here. You'll see just where the Hydra is here. Oh, now I've just a bit off the map. But there doesn't seem to be any way of getting rid of him. I'm and he does, and he is the next quest, doesn't he? Let's press F4 and double check it. 
other worlds. Yeah, there's a night phantom and there's a hydra. Does it tell me anything about... Yeah, thanks. Just need to find it and kill him. That's just uh, not so easy. I just wonder if I need a better weapon. If there is a better weapon. Well, I think this weapon's actually quite effective. Well. Maybe not. <laughs> How much health has this sheep got? Oh, okay. Well, that's a waste of time, isn't it? So, I don't know. I think this would probably be very good in other areas. So I'm a bit stuck with the Hydra. I don't know what to do about him. So, And I think that's... I'm not sure whether I have to go around and do, deal with all the other liches or whatever. So let's go back. Let's go back home. So I don't know where I am on that map. I have to stop and start the game again to get rid of that one. Anyway. So I'm stuck on that one. Let's just take my warp stone. Let's walk back to the overworld again. That was interesting. So after all that effort, it didn't didn't help me very much, did it? So I've also got to find a way to deal with this little poor little mana pool there. That's actually got almost no mana in it. <laughs> it's just like, where's the mana going to? Two blaze rods should have been enough to produce a little bit of mana, if nothing else. Maybe I need some more ender flames, so I can do that. But there is something else we need to do. I had another idea. Let's get rid of the stuff I've got on me. Let's put this up here, actually. Since I'm a bit sad about that, I will be honest. I do not not knowing what to do is uh, frustrating. And just wondering where to look, go to look for it as well is is also difficult. So I've got some drops here. Let's have a look. So I could have taken a, a flask. I tried a flask of. Vigor 1, which gives you Strength 2, and I don't think there's a higher Strength than Strength 2. As a Feather Feet, so you don't die. Uh, but most of these are Vigor ones. But and you get 4 drinks out of it, so you get 6 minutes. and made no difference, I wasn't killing him. So let's get rid of this stuff. Bugs are also in there, good. So... I need help. Somebody can help me on that one, it'd be great. So, next thing. I'm going to make something from Extra Utilities. It's actually not that well known. Uh, I think it's Extra Utilities. Extra Utilities or RF Tools. Let's have a look. And it is this one. Quantum quarry activator and a quantum quarry. Fairly expensive, but actually not that bad. So we need an ender pearl and stone. And stone, no problem. We were lucky enough to get that. So there's one stack of that would be more than enough. Was it one ender star? Another star? Another ender star. If it is, that's good because I got one left. <laughs> Otherwise, I have to go to the, the, the uh, another another base and get the next one. I probably do need two actually because I think I need six of these activators. Oh, that's okay. That's no big deal. We can make coarse fruit blaze rods. No big deal. We need six of those stone burnt. We should have some. And stone. We're going to do it like this. So sixteen of those. Let's do the whole lot. So it's nice. It fits in two stacks oh it wanted some I only wanted a few let's just take eight I'm not sure what we got so look at uses of this one I need to make these chorus fruits so I just need two of those plus, an, plus a, a nature essence which is this one and 
that will give us chorus fruit. Oh, that's two leaf essence. Oh. Nature essence at the top here. They just one will be fine, but two will do. Is that in the wrong place? Really? It's in the wrong place. So that plus was it end stone? Make the end the end uh, use of that one because it wasn't a cooked one, was it? Twenty-eight attack damage. Hmm. It's not actually that good, so we will ignore that one for the time being. Sorry, I have to go back and look for the end activator here. So we need this. Ah, oh, it's cooked. Okay. So I might as well cook up six of those and also cook up the bread at the same time. So that was blaze rods, wasn't it? I think four will be enough actually. We probably don't need more than four. Oh, we, we need two. We need six at least. Try the other way around. Diamond, diamond picks is just treated wood. I should have some treated wood in here. Living wood, living wood planks. Treated wood is here. Yeah, good. Um. Burnt stone. I think I made some. I think I made a stack between episodes. I did. <laughs> Come over here, creeper. So we can. Oh, yeah, we can make one of these. So that's the quarry itself. And that needs to be surrounded by six of these. So we need some treated wooden planks, which is those. That will give me two. I need another two. I'm going to need six of these. That will give me four. And some diamonds. Of course, yes, that's <laughs> a slight problem. Let's just get rid of the stuff I don't need. Hopefully that wasn't everything I don't need. So get rid of that, put that one into here. Get rid of this leaf. So try again. Don't need these diamonds. Is there a diamond enough? There is, oh, this is, oh no, I won't. So this is, we need six of these things here. So what can we make? Endstone. Endstone, does that? Oh yeah, we've got a place for endstone. Try again. One. Yes, of course, you're going to make one each time, isn't it? So let's just do this. We're not going to have enough pickaxes, and then the stone burnt is here. Two. And that's basically all we need. I've got a crate. I need power. 
So power is probably the best place for power. It's probably up here. Now what this should do, and I haven't used this since Forever Stranded 1, is you should be able to make a nice quarry. And it's a little bit like a void quarry. So you put it down like this. And really what's going wrong here? Let's try that. Maybe I have to put this one down first. Yes, and then they should stick to the sides of this. Can I right click them on? Yes, I can right click them on. Junior? Yep, Junior. So I need to break the last one. This lag is weird. Probably can't put it down like that, can I? Put the top one down, no problem. And the bottom one will have to go down. I'll have to make a hole. <laughs> oh. I lost me a thing. So we should be able to put the last one on there like that. And that's the and that's what we need. Let's go and get my stone. Like that. Where you drop? You just dropped out already. So what you do is you put an inventory beside it like this. And it will shut and it needs power. I think it needs power. I'm not 100% sure to be dead on this video. Or is it GP it needs? I've forgotten. I reckon it needs power. Let's just see if it works. So have I got any cable with me? Have I got enough cable with me? 12 leadstone flux stick. Possibly enough, but we'll see. You see, it does take, you can right click it and it does give you st information. Like that. And you'll see it's now getting power. And it's quarrying. And it's doing a volcanic island. It's mining nine blocks. Now, maybe this is a bad place to put this. And sure enough, it's mining. <laughs> really now thinking it's a bad place. Now let's have a look at this. What can we do on here? We can filter an enchanted book. Okay, and you can put a biomarker in there, so change the, the type of biome you're in. So an enchanted book, my guess is if we do silk books, enchanted books, have I got a silk touch book somewhere around? I know I've got silk touch stuff. It would be fortune, wouldn't it, for a quarry? <laughs> I like the one that says some strange. I've got another set of books in here too. These might be sorted actually, because they're vanishing mending, lure, soul bound. I don't think it needs to be soul bound. Smelting. I got fortune one book. Sub touch. Let's go and try that. Now let's go and have a look what's going on in here. Yep. That works. So that's now doing. We're not getting these rocks, Detroit rocks, and the rest of it, which actually take a lot more space. So that's good. Now, this is a bad place to put the, the quarry, as I said, because it's going to use up the power from the seeds. But what we can do is we can move this. Now, where has it gone to? I have no idea how this is going to work, but I do remember. In Forever Standard, it was fantastic. 
Let's just turn this magnet on so I can get, pick up my stuff. I just turned it off again, haven't I? Take the book out of these things before you do it. Before you break things up. So I need a pickaxe. We'll take this with the that chest transporter. Oh, by the way, I did find that another use. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to go to the quarry and pick up the other bit. So I'm sure I've got the quarry down there, a real quarry, or the builder in the quarrying mode. And I'm sure it's still sitting here because we don't really need this one. Oh, actually, we'll go and take the actual quarry because that's finished, isn't it? That's the quarry. Oh, this is the quarry, isn't it? This one's actually finished. I think. It's done the whole area now. It's, that's it. It's 120 blocks are done. I'm not sure if we see anything interesting in the walls. Maybe if we were lucky, we'd see some. But no, I don't think there's anything interesting in there, really. But this is finished. And you'll notice there are no mobs at the bottom, so they do not spawn on bedrock, which is also sort of useful information for you. Now let's pick up this, because that's actually the thing I really want. Shift right clicking it has actually does a nice job. It's a funny noise. <laughs> so let's just pick up the end of the chest. It takes quite a long time the end of the chest. Get up here. And if I put this, let's put it down. You know, I could have left where it was, couldn't I? So let's put it down here. So I've obviously got to do the same thing, put it down one block, drill a hole beside it, but I'm picking my magnet again because I've turned it off. In fact, we could actually use the ender chest, couldn't we? Huh? It was certainly off, it didn't work. Try that again. In fact, there's actually no reason why I couldn't put it down too, because it is the. Let's do that, in fact. So we need the quarry itself. What did I just put down? Another piece of. I could get rid of that one. get rid of these two. Actually we didn't put that back again now. So let's put the sides on it or the faces. It doesn't form until you've got them all. You can right click this, you see, if you look at right click it as we did before, it doesn't form until you actually put the last one in. Then you can right click it and then it does work. So I'll put the book back. Um, that will actually filter stuff and that's a biomarker so you can change the biome I guess. We haven't done biome markers so that's maybe awkward. Power, we can give it power with the power cell. Let's do that, let's put that on the top. Ha, too near. Try again. Right, that'll be out. Putting this, we should get power in it now. It's already full of power, good. So we just now need to put down the the chest. I'll put it underneath it, see if it actually works. Let's tell you what we'll do. Let's put the end of the chest down. 
and you'll see it's actually mining, quarrying away. So it's picking up stone. I'm presuming this is then going to be running out of power, which it is. And I think this is actually turned off, which it is. Let's turn it on again. And I should activate this in a way that turns off and on automatically. So that's generating well 1200, 1300 RF per tick. So this thing is then working quite nicely. Always on. And you'll see that you're picking up all these ores and they should come out. But of course that's going to make, I won't have everything in here yet that needs to be taken out of here. So I've got to work on that a bit. So what have I got? Oil shale. Never, we haven't had that before. Let's go and put that into one of these. And that should allow it to carry on. But I did notice something else. Oh, maybe, well, maybe we'll be alright actually. It's already emptied all of that out. That's good. So I'll leave it. See what happens. See what we get. But... So I've got to do between episodes, what I've got to figure out is how to get this to work. Oh, I'm going to click this one thing. How to get that to work. How to deal with the Hydra. If anybody knows, please tell me, because I ain't got an idea. I really don't have an idea what I need to do with the Hydra. And also put some sort of clock on there. But it also, I think, when I was looking at the recipes, I might have to do... Um, go to the next level of um, astral sorcery now whether I want to do that with you I don't know, probably let me know what you think so it would be helpful because I am I'm stuck <laughs> I'm also, I don't think there's going to be much of a problem with the Batania stuff because I think I can figure that out anyway, until next time I wish you all the best, bye for now